Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Curvy Yogi. I am Jakita and today I am going to do a get ready with me, which is different from all my other videos, but figured I'd do it for my everyday look just to get back into the hang of doing all this. So let's get into it. So today I am just doing a simple um, everyday look. This is what I do every day before I go to work. I'm not doing a lot of flashy stuff. Um, may add some eyeshadow in. Usually I don't because I don't have time. Um, but starting off with my primer. So for my primer, I'm going to try to cover this bottle up because it looks horrible. But first, my primer is Milk of Magnesia. And I just shake that up really well. And most of the time they tell you to put a thin layer on, let it dry, and then you can put your foundation on it. I don't do that. Um, I'm going to put a thin layer on first. On the cotton ball. And I know that people might think that this is weird that you use milk and magnesia on your face, but I have oily skin and so by 12 o'clock um, each day my skin will be shiny like I will be shiny if I don't use any type of primer on my face and that's with or without makeup like it's just how my skin is very oily so I put that on and I'll let it dry as it's drying you, probably, you guys will probably see a light film or a white film come on my face um, normal and what I do after that is I'll let it dry and then once it dries I'll take a cotton ball with a little bit of water on it and just wipe it off and it's still gonna leave a film just not a really thick layer like the first layer is so you can see it's kind of drying out now so I kind of look like a ghost but um Today for this get ready and me, get ready with me get ready in me no 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 get ready with me um just kind of want to talk about insecurities because my insecurity is my face so I have a lot of or I've had problems with acne um, scarring so I have acne scars dark spots hyperpigmentation discoloration all of that that's what goes on with my skin or has been going on with my skin only recently in the past like two years have I completely changed my skin routine and found something that works where I don't get breakouts like I used to I used to get breakouts and then of course people will tell you oh don't pick at it don't do this it's gonna leave a scar I'm like you know nothing about my skin because it's gonna leave a scar anyway so whether I touch it or not it's still gonna leave a scar so let me go get some water so like i said i'm just gonna wipe it off and then i'm gonna let it dry again so you'll probably see a little bit of a film form again that's fine that's what i want i don't want it to be completely white i don't want it to be that thick on my face um as I was saying, scars can form anyway. If you pick at the acne or pick at the bumps, whatever you want to call it, it's going to form anyway. So that was my problem all the way growing up, like just scars on my face, you know, then you have breakouts and you know, my skin was not smooth like everyone else's. And so that played a lot with how I looked at myself or the self image that I developed for myself, like it wasn't good. So it just started a couple of weeks, not weeks, ooh, a couple of years ago is when I actually started to appreciate myself and my skin and just try to find more natural ways to take care of it. And I finally gotten to the point where my skin um, is good, it's smooth, um, I still have discoloration, that's fine with me as long as I'm not getting any new breakouts and that's where I am now. So. You know, this journey to healthy skin is a long one. It always will be a long one. And 
I think people forget that. And you know, a lot of people always say that people, some people use makeup as, you know, trying to deceive people or they wear too much of it or they don't love themselves if they wear makeup. I'm like, listen, I didn't. I didn't like the way I looked, so I wore makeup because that helped me to have a little bit of confidence. And a lot of people wear makeup to enhance their beauty. I'm like, I'm wearing makeup to look normal. So take that how you will. It's the truth. Like even before now, I just kind of didn't um, go out of the house without any kind of makeup on. Even if it was just a thin layer of foundation. Like I had to have something on to cover up the spots or to even out my skin tone. I'm getting better at it. Like I said, it's an everyday journey. But um, so first I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I'm going to go in with the NYX brow pencil. The micro brow pencil excuse me this is the really fine tip and that comes with the pencil on one end and the brush on the other end so I'm just gonna brush my brows in the direction that they need to go and this is why I don't put the milk and magnesia over it because it's just gonna if I did it would just kept my eyebrows in place and I don't need to try to draw over that Alright, so after I have filled in my eyebrows, I go in with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight um, Brow Contour thingy. And this is, this is kind of like the brow pencil where you can um, fill in the brows, but I usually don't use that because I've already filled them in. I usually just use the highlight portion, so the lighter side. And next, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I've already put the primer on, it has a little film still left. And this is gonna keep my skin from being oily all day. And I use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. I don't know if it's going to focus. I guess not. Whatever. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. Um, and this is the Bare Espresso 19. And Bare Minerals is not Fenty Beauty. So they don't have this whole line of products that are geared towards black skin. So this is very dark. It looks very dark. This is almost to the darkest complexion that they have. But the reason I use Bare Minerals is because it's one of the, the few um, foundations that doesn't break me out. I'll eventually try Fenty one day, but I'm just, I'm comfortable right now. So I'm going to use this um, angled foundation brush from Ulta Beauty. I use the Bare Mineral one, but um, Bare Minerals one. But that one keeps messing up so the brushes on that one keep messing up and I just had to get a new one if I was gonna record this video so usually I just do about three drops three or four drops we're gonna do four and then just kind of dot it around and don't forget the neck my face looking all cute and my neck still looks a different color. So once I do that, just kind of going around.
foundation is on. Now it's time to go in with the concealer, which is the bare skin. This is the um, complete coverage serum concealer. Concealer, dark to deep. And that's for all of the darker tones. I should have got a new one of this because got out of this. And so I just go around and make sure I get all of the spots that I miss. So, now I got that on. Usually I just go in and blend that with my finger. Don't do the whole fancy blender thing just because I kind of want it to stay where it is. I don't want to like blend it too much and then it just reveals the scar again. Like to me that's what concealer is for is to actually conceal these problem areas. I know people use it like under their eyes and all of that stuff. I don't have bags. Thank God. So, I don't have to use that. So, like I said, the sun has ran away, and I am trying to fight the light. Like, before I was setting everything up, the sun was bright, and it's just playing with me right now. So, Anyway, I'm gonna let that sit for a while. Bake, as some people will say, whatever. Um, but like I said, this was one of my insecurities, is my face and how it looked. And makeup is just a way to help me be a little bit more confident in what I do. Um, I don't use it as something that I have to do all the time. Like I'm just, like I said, I'm getting to the point where I can go out in public without having to put on any makeup and I'm proud of myself like this whole self-love self-image journey journey um body positivity is a journey that never stops you have to continue to love yourself even through the times where you don't want to um so yeah like we all have insecurities and i don't understand why people try to shame people for um wearing makeup or you know liking to wear makeup all the time and just doing the most like do you do what you gotta do when people like makeup that's why we have all these makeup channels out here that's why we have all these hair channels people do what they want to do what they enjoy doing and makeup is a good hobby to have i like playing in makeup sometimes especially when i get something new oh you can't tell me anything i'm in the mirror just like this trying to figure out what i need to eat. i'm gonna come in with this this is actually a concealer brush, but because it's angled, I like using it to blend in my highlights since everything is kind of setting. And I think I got a different highlight this time because I actually like this one. The other ones I got were kind of pale and they just didn't look good. This one is just kind of shimmery, like a gold shimmer. And I like it. Should I do eyeshadow? We'll try it. I usually don't do eyeshadow eyeliner, especially eyeliner. Eyeliner is like, me and eyeliner have a love-hate relationship and most of the time I just don't do it. I just don't, I don't see the point. Especially when I'm gonna look crazy. So I have the NYX, I guess it's the Happy Birthday palette. This is a free palette I got from Ulta for my birthday and whoop, this is what it looks like so I'm probably going to be using this color if you can see the mirror is messing it up this color and this gold down here yeah that one so the darker one is going to go in the lid the gold is kind of going to Blend in by the brow. I don't know all the technical terms for the eyes, make the eye makeup, but we're gonna try this. Alright, and 
now I'm gonna go in with the gold. So now I'm gonna go in with the Dumber Blend um, Professional Loose Setting Power Powder. I keep saying power. Every time I say this, even when I was trying to say it before I started, I was like power. Oh well. But I use this loose setting powder. I love <laughs> power powder. I like this powder. It's very light. It comes with this little. I'm going with some powder. All right. So that's it for that. And the last thing I'm going to go in with is this um, mascara by It Cosmetics, and it's called Superhero. And this was also another free gift from Ulta. So I actually like this though. So the last little bit of makeup that I'm going to use that completely does not match with my eyes but I don't care I'm gonna use this NYX um, soft matte lip cream and this is what's the name of this Copenhagen so I'm not gonna use a lip liner I don't have anything dark enough right now for this So that's it that is my finished look um let me know what you guys think about that so let me know what your insecurity is do you have any or any of that you're dealing with right now any that have been up and down struggle for you for a long time like i said my skin is my biggest insecurity like i'm not that um hard on myself with my my weight or my body my skin was like the number one thing and so I'm working every day to keep um, you know just speaking positively to myself and looking at myself in a positive way so let me know what you guys think of this video if you want more of these I can do these and um, I'll see you guys next time bye thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also tap the bell so that you can be notified when i upload new videos follow me on all of my socials and visit my website thiscurvyyogi.com for even more exclusive content so i will see you guys soon